our sun. Its radiation provides light and warmth and thus promotes well-being. But the sun's ultraviolet radiation can also be harmful to health. Both natural and artificial UV radiation increase the risk of skin cancer. It depends on when and where you're exposed and for how long. Dense clouds can reduce the radiation. Light clouds offer no protection. The intensity of UV radiation depends, among other things, on the position of the sun, which changes over the course of the day and during the year. It becomes more intense the closer you get to the equator. At high altitudes, radiation is stronger. Snow reflects the radiation and amplifies it additionally. Even asphalt reflects UV radiation, as does the surface of water. Even underwater, radiation has an effect. Without protection, UV radiation penetrates into the eye and the skin. The eye can become inflamed and long-term damages such as cataracts can develop. On the skin, damage such as sunburn or an allergic reaction may appear. But even before we can see or feel the effect, UV radiation can damage the genome in skin cells. Initially, the human body is able to repair this damage itself. But if the skin is exposed to strong UV radiation, decades later, skin cancer can develop. Skin cancers are, worldwide, among the most frequently occurring cancers. In Germany, the incidence rate for malignant melanoma has more than tripled since the 1980s. The earlier a person is exposed to UV radiation without protection, the more damage occurs throughout their life, and thus the risk of skin cancer is increased significantly. That is why children need special protection. Their skin is very sensitive to UV radiation. Infants should never be exposed to direct sunlight. Effective UV protection is easy to achieve. The skin should be well covered with loose clothing. Sunglasses with UV protection protect the eyes. Sunscreen must be generously applied to any exposed skin. The more fair-skinned a person is, the more protection he or she needs. In the midday sun, UV radiation is particularly strong. We don't always notice how strong it is. That's why the German Federal Office for Radiation Protection publishes the UV index as an addition to the weather forecast. With a UV index between 3 and 7, you should stay in the shade during lunchtime. At index values of 8 or higher, which are reached in summer in Central Europe too, you should avoid being outside during midday hours. After approximately 3 p.m., with appropriate protection, you can go out again.